the catalog file structure is organized by cabinet type and style. Under the drag and drop, under categories, you'll see base, tall, wall, and other areas. I'm going to click into base cabinet, and I'm going to click into the base full height door cabinet, and you'll see standard or with accessories. If I click into standard, I have the options of the 34 and a half high, 24 deep, 21 and 18 and 12, as well as 40 and a half. I'm going to click into the 34 and a half inch high, 24 deep. I'm going to drag a base 21, 34 and a half hinged right, place it on my design. I'm going to right click on the cabinet and go into attributes, go into add-ons, and our first option here is finished exposed ends. We now have to select the side of the cabinet which is going to have a finished end. So I'm going to place a check beside the finished exposed end right. Also, I'm going to open the plus at base modifications. I'm going to open the plus at angle modification. And I want to angle the back of the cabinet, so I'm going to open the plus at there. And I'm going to place a check beside angle back right. I'm going to be prompted to tell what the new depth of that side of that cabinet. So I'm going to change that to 21 inches deep on that side. Click OK. And you'll see the graphic shows that the cabinet has been angled where this is a 21 inch deep side and the other is 24. I'm going to open up the plus at door and drawer options. And I'm going to open up the plus at omit doors. I'm going to place a check beside no door. And we only have one door, so I'm just going to click OK. And you'll see there that my door has gone away. I also want to finish the interior of this cabinet, so I'm going to open up the plus at box construction. It is going to be vintage. It's also going to be full overlay. And here's where I'm going to place a check beside the vintage matching interior concealed six-way hinge. And that has affected that change. I'm going to click into variables. Under the variables, we have a lot more of tabs here parts of the cabinet that we can adjust. And I'm going to click on to shelf in this particular case. And you'll see that the depth of our shelf is 15 and a half inches deep. I'm going to make that 19 and a half deep. I'm going to hit apply at the bottom. And you'll see that the shelves are now deeper. And I also want to add a shelf. So under the quantity, I'm going to increase that to three shelves. And now my shelf has got the angle side. I have uh, no door on the cabinet. I've got a matching interior. And I've added sh a third shelf. This ends the demonstration.